I want one so bad, but there are multiple deal breakers here. Even if it did support North American bands, which it may very well, there's no Google services on here, which doesn't mean, oh yeah, well just go get the Play Store and add Google service. No, they won't run on it. Not unless you like, I don't know, root it somehow, but then you're gonna lose a lot of the optimizations that Huawei has made to Harmony OS. You literally cannot put the Play Store on here and you can't run Google apps like. What the f are you talking about? Let's go. What's up, Average Dad fans? Welcome back to another video. And that was just a small teaser, a video produced recently in the past couple of days by Linus. For him to sit there and just lie through his teeth, it's one of two things. He's either lying knowingly or one of the biggest tech YouTubers out there who prides himself as getting into the nitty gritty and breaking down PCs and building gaming PCs and doing all this technical stuff just doesn't know about Micro G or G Space or G Box or a few other ways you can get Google on Huawei devices. I bring this up because this is a constant battle we get as passionate tech enthusiasts that know the world is bigger than just Apple, Samsung and Google. Yet no matter how hard we try to convince people or show people that look at this hardware, we're always coming up against, but it's not an iPhone. Anyway, I've digressed a bit. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't already watched any of my videos, I'm The Average Dad and I produce content on all phones, including those from the Chinese market, Honor, Huawei, Xiaomi, Oppo, Vivo, everything you want to know about those devices, I will tell you. And as an added bonus, I also sell every single one of these devices. However, this does not influence my overall reviews. I always keep my opinions honest. Anyone that's watched any of my content on the Huawei Mate XT should know. You should not buy this device unless you are of the 0.1% of 1% that travels loads and has a unique use case scenario for this. Swerve it. It's too expensive. But it is a fantastic device. And the one way to make this an even better device to complement the stunning hardware is by adding Google Apps. By far the best way to install Google natively on this device Yes, Google Maps, YouTube, Gmail, every Google and Play Store app you want from games to social media, productivity, everything will work absolutely normally with no ads, no lag. You're signed into your Google account. It's Micro G. Now, I know installing Micro G might seem like a bit of a hardship, but this video will take you about six or seven minutes to do the whole procedure and by the end of it you'll have full Google services just like I have on my XT. If you are a Huawei owner but not an XT owner this will work on any Huawei device. Just follow these steps. Now another thing I want to do here is shout out a small YouTube channel that I want you to give support. I don't know this guy, but I was looking at videos on how to install Micro G because some of the steps you need to refresh your memory. This guy's got a couple of hundred subs, so if any of you can help out and smash sub on his channel, essentially I'm just going to use footage from his video and talk you through the steps. However, there are a few things that he didn't deliberately omit. There's just a few steps you need to do in order to make sure Micro G will work first time on your Huawei device. Now, also, before we go through the stops, I do just have to say, if you are interested in Chinese ROM phones, if you're interested in phones other than Apple, Google, and Samsung, and you want to talk tech, get tips, you want to sell your device perhaps, there is a specific private WhatsApp group. You can join through Buy Me A Coffee, sign up to any of the monthly memberships. Buying a beer doesn't automatically get you into the WhatsApp group chat. You have to sign up to the monthly membership, any of the plans, and you'll be added to the WhatsApp group. There's about 160 people there now. I also do monthly giveaways. 
And spoiler, before Christmas time, one of you members in the WhatsApp group chat will be winning a brand new smartphone. Yep, not sure I even told the members that yet, but one of you members will win a smartphone of your choosing from the Average Dad Tech Store. And if you can't be our signing up to any of that, just hit subscribe, get my channel to as many subs as possible and share this video because it's people like Linus that really, really bring the Chinese ROMs and the fake news propaganda about Huawei in particular. They just irk me. Anyway, let's talk through the steps. Now I mentioned there is a few things you need to do before installing Micro G. The first thing is, the easiest way in my experience is factory reset your device. Yes, I know it might be painful, but for this to work right and work forever more, factory reset your device. During the setup process, select your language, but when it comes to the region, I always choose China as my region. Bit of a hack, seems to work really well, I've had no issues whatsoever. So choose China as your region. You can then go through the normal setup process by logging into your Huawei account if you like, it's up to you. I would recommend logging into your Huawei account at some point because to get the Aurora store and do other certain things in this video, you're going to need to have a Huawei global account. You can set one up online or directly from your phone. Now, once you've got your device to the home screen filled with all those glorious bloatware apps, go to the Huawei App Store, I mentioned, easier if you're signed in, and search for Edge. Use the Edge browser because it comes default in English, unlike the native Huawei one. Once that's all installed, you don't need to sign into a Microsoft account. You can just sign in as a guest, hit continue. Once you're logged into that, search for Micro G. It's the top result. It looks like this. Click on Micro G, scroll down a bit to the downloads, and there's three files you want to download. The Micro G services, the Micro G companion, and the Google services framework. Now, once you've got all three of those downloaded from the Micro G site, you then want to go to a new tab and search for the Aurora Store. Again, scroll down to the big green download button and download the Aurora Store APK. Now, there is one more thing you need to do before installing any of these files. Go into your settings menu and search for App Guard. You need to turn this on off. Huawei will try and prevent you downloading certain files if you have AppGuard on. So Micro G will not work. You will not be able to go through the process. So turn off AppGuard. Don't worry, your phone's not going to get hacked or it's not going to crash. You're only downloading APK files here, but turn off AppGuard. When you go to your files app, just search for files in your global search on your Huawei device, it's an orange icon, you will have four recently added files. You need to go through these one by one. So in order, the first file you want to download is a Micro G services. Simply follow the on-screen instructions. You may be asked to enter your pin code or your fingerprint. Go ahead and do that. Just click on install. Once that's done, you'll see the little done button. Click on done, go back to files, and then you want to install the Micro G companion app. Same process, click install. Once downloaded, click done. Then go out, and the third one is the Google Services Framework. Install that, click on done. That's those three apps downloaded and added to your phone. So don't install the Aurora Store yet. Once you've got the first three apps downloaded, you need to move to your settings menu, apps and services, and search for Micro G. By default, the app itself has no permissions. So you have to go through and enable and allow all permissions, as you can see here on the screen. 
Once those have been enabled, go into the top right gear section of this app and make sure that these are all enabled apart from at this stage, the Authenticate by Google toggle. Make sure that is still turned off at this point. And then the final thing to do in the Micro G app is just to make sure that on the checklist, everything is ticked. Some of you may have a box near the middle of the screen that is unticked. Don't worry about that. You don't need that. Leave that unticked. Everything is ticked by default anyway. And that's it. Now you are ready to sign in to your Google account. So here, click on the sign in to Google or add your Google account and simply go through the sign in procedure. If you've got two step verification on, get your other tablet or phone, whatever you're using. Make sure you approve the access on your Huawei. But before I forget, remember I said about that authenticate by Google. Now that you're signed into Google services, you can go back into that settings menu and toggle on authenticate by Google. And now the final file we want to download is the Aurora store. Aurora store is essentially the Google Play Store. It's got every single Google Play Store app in the Aurora store. Works just the same. Download that file, install it, give permissions, all that good stuff. Once you open the Aurora store, you are going to want to grant all permissions. Spoiler, by default, they actually are all granted, so you don't really have to do much here. But if for some weird reason you see something is not granted, just give everything access. Once you've granted all permissions, you can now log in with your Google account, which is what I do. So log in again to your Google account through the Aurora store. And there we go. That's the app store. Download to your heart's content. So you're going to need to install every app onto your device natively. So just go through the same installation. Once it's installed, you can click on open, log into your account, do whatever you want to do, or you can just click on done and move on to your next app. One thing you can't do with your Huawei is just plug in your other Android device and download all your apps and files. Unfortunately, this is a very manual process, but once you've downloaded all the apps you need once, you're not gonna have to download them again. Now, the main reason I wanted to actually shout out this guy's channel and use the footage is because when he opens his YouTube, the first video in his For You page is my previous Huawei Mate XT Google workaround. So I thought, do you know what? I could do all these steps and record it, but A, it's a faff, and B, I was a YouTuber with 200 subs one day, and having someone with 30,000 subs shout out your channel might make some difference. I hope it does. At the Average Dad Studios, at Average Dad Enterprises, we are all about positivity. For the most part. Some people deserve to get shouted out, like Linus at the start of the video. But guys, just be kind. Just be happy. If somebody's doing something good that you see, share it with me in the WhatsApp and I'll gladly shout them out on my video. There are not enough people giving Huawei, Vivo, Xiaomi, Oppo enough credit for what they're doing. So there we go. Micro G is installed on your Huawei Mate XT or other Huawei devices. If you have any questions or issues, leave a comment down below. And again, you can sign up to the WhatsApp chat. Buy me a coffee is here. And it would be kind of stupid of me not to mention again, the Average Dad Tech Store specializes in every single Chinese ROM device, from foldables to candy bars. If it's not in the store and there's a phone you want, drop me a message. I can guarantee I'll be able to source it. Oh, and for the whole month of October, there's two weeks left, this is the discount code, October 5 off. All one word, all uppercase. Get yourself an extra 5% off the already cheapest prices out there. I'll be back soon with a full review of my Huawei Mate XT. Spoiler, I absolutely freaking love this device. Until next time.